hello everyone it's Fanny. welcome back to clear to by five if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by and welcome today i want to share with you how i made this beautiful farmhouse wire frame so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's get started so i'm going to start off with the materials you will need four picture frame some alphabet stickers some greenery that i already have for previous diy less sober galvanized hair for previous diy as well some small cloth pin and also one of these wire baskets I don't know the words exactly but you can see that it's really easy to work with <laughs> so I cut the tab on the bottom of the wire just like so and next I'm going to be cutting um, the middle as well so next I'm going to be stretching the basket the wire just like so to keep it flat um, wire and also a longer piece as you can see so next i bring the frame back because it was already dry and ready to work with so as you can see here i'm trying to measure it, um how long i'm going to be cutting the wires so using a market just to know where exactly i'm going to cut fold it in half and like that it's easy to cut just like so so now I had two pieces and here I'm stretching more to make sure it's flat just like so and now I'm going to be placing on the back of the frame as you can see and here we go uh, please do not do this I'm just showing you guys just so you guys can see that sometimes we struggle with things like that or we just come with silly ideas <laughs> so I told uh, the staple cam it will work and definitely not work of course not I don't know what I was thinking <laughs> so okay please don't do that so next I went ahead and I use, and use a lot of hot glue to keep in place uh, the wire using a pencil and to not burn my fingers <laughs> keep pressing and adding more glue until i glue the entire 
wire on the back of the frame. As you can see, it's a lot of high glue, but don't worry about it, it look messy. We'll fix that. So next, I'm going to be using the scissors again and cutting the excess, as you can see. So next, I'm going to be using the same paper, clean the mess of the glue, and also smooth out the frame to be able to work with, with some paint. So then I wipe it out, just like so. And now I'm going to give it like one coat um white paint on the frame, just like so. So next, I use my big helper. <laughs> the hair dryer, she really helps me a lot with the quick process. Next, I'm going to give it one coat of gray fox color within a small brush, just like so, to the entire frame. And now I'm going to be using the black acrylic paint, and I'm going to use in a small brush. And I'm going to be just giving like a light paint on the wire, just like so. As you can see the difference I'm showing you here. See, I use my hand just to show you the difference. So I'm going to be doing that with the entire frame. And I also, after that, I'm going to be using the gray fox colors as well. I'm going to be doing the same thing and also I'm going to be using a little bit the metallic silver um, paint as well. And now I go back with the black paint and I'm going to give it like a small brushes on the frame just like so. And then I'm going to give it like a little um, a strong uh, touches to create like a, that distressing look or something like that as you can see. So when I'm done with that, I also going to give like a light brushes with the silver um, metallic paint as well, just like so. And I really love how this paint came out. <laughs> so that's how it looks so far. Now we're going to flip it over and we're going to work with the mess on the back. So as you guys remember, I don't know exactly the name of those things but uh, they were part of the frames <laughs> so I cut in just like so and now I'm going to be placing um, on the entire frame on the edges just like so like that we're not going to be scratching a wall or our table <laughs> with our frame and we have a nice finished look just like so and there you have it all the frame really nice and neat on the back so I flip it over and now I'm going to be working with my greenery and also with, with the less over wire then I just grab a base to create like a circle so then I just wrapping around just like so and now with the greenery part I'm going to just take it off the stand just like so and I also going to be cutting that part <laughs> so I can have just the lid just like so and now I'm going to stop to start adding some hot glue and create like a little reef just like so And there you have it, my beautiful mini leaf. <laughs> so now I'm going to be using some hot glue and place it on the center of the frame. As you can see. And 
and next with the little galvanized heart i'm going to give it like a light color a white paint just like so and then i also going to give like a little brushes of of black paint just like so Next, adding some hand glue and glue it on the center of the rib, just like so. Now, with the stickers, I'm going to be spelling the word family, as you can see, and then I'm going to kind of be fixing it or, yeah, <laughs> find the right way. And also, with the little silver white paint on the brush, I kind of just give like little touches here and there. And now, with the small uh, cloth pins. I'm going to give like a black coat just like so and now I'm going to be just gluing it on the front just like so and that's it that's it for today oh my goodness I think this print this frame came out really cute I really love the way it looks um, so you can place it on the kitchen with a little family picture or in the living room just like so and here I'm just showing you guys like I mentioned at the beginning uh, about the handles but I ended up not using them because I thought the color of the handles didn't really go with the colors of the front oh I don't know <laughs> so maybe I'm going to find another ones and ending gluing it eventually so that's it I really hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and your continued support. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So see you guys next time. Ciao, ciao.